Ubisoft. Now Ubisoft will be showing off their two new Assassin's Creed games, Assassin's Creed Unity, which is uh, of course the next gen based set in Paris, uh, which will be shown at E3. Uh, Assassin's Creed uh, was leaked through some screenshots and some reference uh, videos, uh, but those were work in progress videos. Of course, we didn't get to see the real next gen element in them, the graphic effects or uh, the new engine that they have been working on. We will really get to see for the first time here. We get to see a glimpse teaser of it, but it was uh, just a teaser of the new engine. It looked like a cinematic, but according to Ubisoft, it was all in engine uh, graphics, which is very common to Assassin's Creed. So we will be getting to see uh, them return to that European era which they have done beautifully before. Uh, story wise, I really hope it can compete with the Assassin's Creed 2 standard. Uh, although I'm in love with the Assassin's Creed 4, uh, the whole Pirates theme and the open sea really worked for me. And it kind of saddens me to return back to those same old European cities. But still, let's hope that uh, they can bring us something even beyond Assassin's Creed 4 uh, for this awesome franchise. Also, the old gen uh, gamers will get to see their version of Assassin's Creed and what they have been working for that one. Which also brings us to their old forgotten franchise, Prince of Persia. Now, Assassin's Creed has already taken all the fame of the Prince of Persia series, but being a fan of all of the previous Prince of Persia games, I really hope that uh, they stop making more Assassin's Creed game and just once give back chance to Prince of Persia. So, uh, well, they already announced Assassin's Creed game, so there is no hope for the same team working on a new Prince of Persia game. But let's hope they at least announce something uh, for the next future or the next year. Then, last but not the least, Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yes, Ubisoft has been ignoring that one for a long time. We have seen some leaked images, some leaked CGI, some officially released CGI trailer and uh, we would really like to see that franchise make a comeback and hopefully we will get to see that at this E3. Now, there's still a lot to talk about uh, many other games like The Division now we have already seen the game in action but we would be seeing some new things at this E3 next game is The Crew of course the Ubisoft's open world uh, driving game will be there to see but what I would really like to see is what has happened with Rainbow Six Patriots maybe it is right time to show the game in action uh, because I love that franchise and I would love to see what they have been doing with uh, this Rainbow Six. Then of course we will get to see our first glimpse of Far Cry 4 set in the Himalayas. Of course Ubisoft has so many other titles that uh, they can revitalize like Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon or uh, Rayman. So we never know what we might get to see at E3. Let's hope for the best. Ubisoft have lot to offer at this E3 and we will be covering all of those pretty soon.